Hi. I'm here to do, like, an update because I haven't done anything in so long. I've been down with, like, the worst flare since the beginning of July. And what it was is the ice just got to be physically too much. The people weren't helping me put it away. And I, I went down with a the flare then, and then they didn't help me put it away, and it set me over the top. So it's now... Um, in the well into September, and um, I'm still really just hardly up and around, though I'm a lot better. You know, I can sit up, I can move a little bit, and stuff like that. But that's all I've been able to do. And over the months, I've made like a lot, a lot of changes. I'll save the best for last, but um, since January, when I just had a complete physical breakdown. I, you know, my body just, you know, gave out under the pressure of trying to deal with the drama here in Arizona. And people ask me, what is that drama? Well, I've lived in many different states. You know, I've lived all over the Northeast, um, different places in the Southwest and um, the South. And so I've been around and... Well, this is the only place that really where the people are, you know, when you go in and you try to do anything, anywhere, anytime, any place, people start drama. They want to do crazy making. They're crazy makers. And I was here for two years in, from 99 to 2001, and I left pretty quick because I just couldn't deal with it. Um, of, you know, like going into the store to buy something, and it would become a hour and a half production when it should have t taken like five minutes and so dealing with every agency that should get me certain help and assistance as a disabled person has been the same drama and I'm also denied my rights any rights and as I try to go beyond that and go to things like legal aid and try to you know sue or go to court and when nothing's enforced so it's all just a mass of crazy everybody is you know in on it and it's just one big mess and the whole idea of it is to keep you run down engaged and keep you jumping and running and um, basically keep you on a goose chase and laugh at you while you do it and so that just really doesn't work for me. It didn't work for me in, you know, 99. It doesn't work for me now. And the best way to deal with it is just keep to yourself and then deal with people out of the area, completely out of the area. I now have an out-of-the-area phone number um, that's out of the state. And just all those different things that I've done, I've gotten rid of dealing with any agency. I realize I can't get the help or services. And so I have, like, reams of paper. And then I've got, like, um, all this that's, like, from the shredder. So there has been a ton of paper. I mean, it's going to be so much more space in here. We're just getting rid of the, all the paperwork. Um, every, every agency you deal with when things aren't working out here, what they do is they give you a pseudo-grievance paper. Every agency has their grievance. Grievance is a big word in Arizona. Grievance. Everything. Everywhere. Every job. Everything has grievances. And these, they're all the same form printed thing. It's a pseudo fake grievance procedure that takes a lot of time, a lot of hours. Each one is like a full time job to go through and they're fake and you, you go through these steps and then they're supposed to write you back with a letter on their decision but then they don't and they twist everything around so you can't get through the procedure and get to the top and then when you finally go to the top and you tell them that the other people weren't following the rules of the grievances then they tell you well you didn't do it right you've got to go back again so it's all fake it's all corrupt and fake and phony and it's funny because every single um, agency has like the same thing and so the, the last thing is, is I would lose my caseworker if I didn't do a grievance. I said, I'll write you two lines. I object to the way things are. I'll write you two lines. And that's what I did because I'm not going to go through 
another hundred hours of something of empty wasted action and that's another thing that you know and the forms I swear they come from the same writer at the same place whether it's a state or whether it's private or no matter what it is I think they all go to the same place all fixed it's basically basically all this um even even like a casino you know it's just fixed fixed in favor of the house Arizona's the house and so I've dropped off dealing with all that negativity and what was exhausting me for you know hundreds and hundreds of hours and exhaustion and I just I'm very very careful who I even call or deal with I even started to have a, like a repair on my propane system and I put that to a halt and ordered the part out of state and my handyman's going to do it I have a really good handyman here that I'm really grateful for and um so I've I've kind of like stopped all that and changed all that so I can get on and have at least a more positive life and maybe have more healing rather than sickness in my life. And you know, getting the crazy makers out that's real real important. And it is kind of like lonely and isolated to keep to yourself, but it's the only way to make Arizona work. It's the only way. I'm not saying there aren't good people here, and they get through. But it's basically the only way that living here can work. And I see other channels that are the same way. The people are pretty isolated. You know, you've got one guy he's living off grid. And he's mostly to himself. You know, I'm not saying he never deals with the community, but that's kind of what you have to do. Also note that, um, and I want to say this, that Arizona is actually one of the best places to live off the grid. A lot of the problems that you find in other states just don't exist here. So you see people say all the time, like, oh, I don't have that. I've never had that happen to me because, well, I live in Arizona. And there'll be, like, you know, 100 comments under a video of people saying that. And it's true. It's really off-grid friendly. Um, it's just that the crazy-making and drama and dysfunction is ten times what it is anywhere else in the country. So if you're living off-grid, you know, you have to think of those trade-offs, too. If you're off-grid, though, you're probably more isolated. So, you know, that may cancel it out. It may make it doable. So that's something to think about, too. Now for the garden. I was never able to plant the other side. I put the um, propagated plants in. I took the tall, skinny ones out, made pesto. And the propagated ones got neglected when I was down sick. They got dried out. They got didn't get light. They so they're kind of growing up the same way the previous ones did. They didn't get pruned right. So um, what I might do is propagate these again and then see if something can happen and then plant um, the new crop on the right. So. One half of this box is going to end up being eventually Malabar spinach because it can do well in the heat. And that was another problem. Basil is the only thing that could survive in the heat. Even the philodendrons, that one up there is just, it's hard to see in the dark, but it's just almost dead, completely dead. In the summer heat where, you know, I'm using the mighty cool to cool me, but the place is still hot, it didn't do that well. So I have to have things that do well in the heat. Basil does well in the heat. Stevia does well in the heat. I never got the promised plants that we delivered. So I never paid for those, and I got Malabar spinach seeds. So that's what I'll end up probably doing is Malabar spinach. And so, as I said earlier in the video, the ice got to be too much. I mean, the pain that I went through that last time when somebody wouldn't help me was over the top. I mean, I was screaming for like half a day and um, the pain that I was in and being unable to move so much after that, I ended up like robbing Peter to pay Paul and using credit and going back up on my credit to get a new fridge. And that was the end of June. So like a couple weeks after that terrible pain, I actually had a new fridge in here and the handyman installed it and I ordered the fridge out of the air from out of the area had it delivered in. It was much, much cheaper deal. It was like, you know, half of what the local place would have charged me. So, um, it definitely 
has been much, much better. And the freezer's bigger, and the fridge is small, part is smaller. It has a light that automatically comes on. You don't have to press a button to get the light on. I kind of like, you know, getting to choose, like press the button. So I was able to get, like, some food back in here, but I won't be going back to meat. I won't be putting the food back in that I did. I've thought about bone broth, but I really want to stay plant-based for now. So that's the fridge. Uh, as you see, it's very basic. It doesn't have door panels or anything. It's just very basic what I could afford. And I ended up actually, because I was in such a hurry, putting it on the card that I had consolidated and then worked on getting the money from the stuff I sold and the windfall that I had and then another loan that was on another credit card where they made like a year of interest-free. So I had like a, a year of interest-free that I'll have for that money that, and it was two points. And then putting on the card that I consolidated gave me enough cash back that it almost covers those points. And then when the money hit my bank account, I paid the card that, you know, that card off. So I'm kind of like where I was in the beginning, just the card's way up and all that. But the other consolidation loan is going down. So now I'm just kind of like starting over again. I did um, get a regulator that works good on my propane line, so I don't have every appliance going out anymore. It was the propane company when I first moved here. They put their regulator on, and it was real crummy, and so every appliance went out, and that's why I had to get new water heaters and, you know, replace everything. And since this heater was new, I knew that it shouldn't be, you know, the pilot shouldn't be going out all the time. And I ended up, um, because this summer has been so different and dry and different than last summer. Last summer was like Seattle, Washington for weather. This summer is getting closer to like Tucson's weather, you know, dry, hot. So since the sun, there was actual sun here, which is like the first, it's really been a lot of sun. Uh, since there was sun, I, I ran the heater furnace up there until the regulator thing got fixed and so I'll have a little bit more done with that because I got a new regulator that I really want on there so basically um, I think it's slowly coming together and I'm resting and taking care of myself and even my caseworker it is so done done with her so done I didn't realize how much drama she was costing me until I kind of threw all the rest of the drama out, and then I realized, oh my god. So, I have not talked to her in like a month and a half. I think she's gone AWOL from her job. She um, was talking to me one day, and then she just disappeared, and I said, no, not this again, not, not just disappearing right in the middle of what you're working on for me. And, of course, her job takes her back, but, you know, it, there's a matter of time when, when they probably won't do that, you know, where she disappears for a month and they're not going to take her back. But the professionalism of anything around here, you know, is pretty galling. So I, I'm just done with it. You know, I made my decision. I'm done. And I'm making a lot of my own decisions. So um I'm going to be, you know, just going kind of back to what I was and, you know, but as a new person and doing what I was going to do. So I'm still off the grid, you know, still living, still getting lights, still just kind of doing everything, but just, you know, kind of having a lot of doubt, just on all this downtime, watching my movies, my TV shows, and, you know, as I get better, I'll go back to all the good projects that you're used to seeing in my videos, the food, the meal a day, the, um, little projects, the decorating, and expanding my home, and making this more of a home, so if you like, hit like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a really good evening.